I'm Layla. Welcome. So today we have a showcase for Fire Net Heart 10, and we're going to be showcasing Genzin today. Now, there's a good reason for Genzin in there, is that we have a triple hit on this A1 and fills this turn meter. That's really good for taking down the Fire Knight shield, but also the rest of his abilities are pretty stellar. So we have A2s so going to be the AoE decrease defense, and each crit fills his turn meter. But we also have his A3 Faded Vengeance. He ignores unkillable and shields, fills his turn meter. And also, decrease the cooldown of Steel Parting and Faded Vengeance by one turn as his attack kills an enemy. So basically, like, he's resetting his AoE decrease defense pretty quickly. And his passive works against the boss, right? It's Bushido. It increases his speed by 10 resistance by 50. Always works when fighting bosses, which is pretty great. Now, for his blessing, he does have a one star. So we have him with Phantom Touch, which a 15% chance to inflict the bonus damage. And again, he's an attack-based champion right so we do see that he's in savage and perception is how we have him built for his stats we are going to go fire knight we do have some bonuses here he's at 40,000 hp 5300 attack 2000 defense we have 287 speed net crit cap 245 percent crit damage 162 resistance 381 accuracy we also have the 12 percent on the ignore defense so the team we are going to be running is it's going to be lonnie lana theral newts cardial genzin and kaimar is gonna be the team we're gonna be running with genzin and fire night hard 10 so let's go run it all right, guys, here we are. We're in Fire Knight Hard 10. You're going to see Cardinal's in the lead for ally speed in all battles by 19%. So we check out his, the team's presets. Here we go. We're going to start with Cardial. So Cardial is going to be do have a Heavenly Host once, which is increased crit rate, increased crit damage, and also does a team attack on round one. And we're shutting off everything else, right? On round two, he's basically only going to do Cow the Wicked which hits the enemy and also could do a fear. And then on the boss stage, we're gonna start with Heavenly Host, which again is gonna be the ally attack, right? And that's kind of what we're gonna pri prioritizing because we wanna try to get the shield down as fast as we can. Prince Kaimar, we're gonna shut off everything except his A1. On round two, we are gonna use his A1, pretty much you know, as often as we can. We do have Abyssal Gaze in there as well too. And then we get to the boss, we're going to do his reset, okay? So that's going to be on the boss. Lonnie, on stage one, we're going to be doing Flicker Barrier, which is going to be an AoE shield. Round two, we're going to do it again. We're still keeping off the A3. Then we get to the boss. We're going to start with Finest Hour, which increases crit damage and then does a team attack, which again is great against the Fire Knight. Pain Train, what? Execute Order 66! Those of you guys watching on YouTube, you guys get the reference? Do you get it? Hey, Train, thank you so much for 66 months. Holy cow. Holy cow. I I can't believe. I can't believe that. Pain Train, thank you. Mwah. Dr. Pain is in the house and now seeing patients. Dr. Pain Train is in the house and now seeing patients. Yes, I could pull your prisms. Let me make a note. We'll do that right after. Prisms. We can only do five pulls. That's okay. I know. Five and a half years. Oh my God. Pain Train, thank you so much. Oh my Lord. All right. Next, we're going to Genzin, kind of the star of the show, right? So Genzin, we're starting with this steel part, which can be the AoE decrease defense. We're going to do it once. We're going to want to kind of prioritize that on the round two and then round three we're gonna start with flowing cuts which is three times again we're trying to take down the shield then you know we're still going to go back into the aoe decrease defense and then newt newt we're gonna be basically just starting with his a1 hitting three times on round two fury of the kings is going to be the aoe decrease attack and weaken and a counter attack and a3 when we get to the boss is we want to hit three times to try and knock down the shield decrease its targets defense and he also heals as well so let's run now, I believe the fastest time we have here is a minute and a second. So it'd be fun if we can end up with a faster time. We'll have to see how it goes. But, you know. Either way, it's kind of fun having some other champs in here. And then, yeah, we do have Cardial and Lonnie in here for the team attacks. You end up needing, like, the team ally attacks. All right, 19 seconds through wave one. You end up needing those on the Fire Knight, right? Because you got to try to take down the shield as much and as fast as you can. Okay. Genz's abilities are fun too. Lonnie. All right, so we're at the boss on 38 seconds. Go. 
Not sure if we're actually going to beat the minute and one, but that's okay. The run is still pretty quick regardless. Hi, Olu. Hi, guys. All right. Shield is down, so we should be able to maintain and keep him from swinging. Look at all the damage Newt does, too. All right. Team attack. Okay, we get to do a team attack again. There you go. Decreasing turn meter. Newt really just does quite a bit. And that Reaper. Look at that. All right. Newt is still pretty much like a star in this when it comes to Fire Knight. But Genson almost did a mill himself. Look at Lonnie at a mill. And it's okay if we don't beat the time. What's nice is consistency. And yeah, so we end up seeing that Genson, you know, he ends up resetting his decreased damage as well too, right? The AoE decreased defense. Very nice. Well done. Yeah, Lonnie's been kind of... He's been fun in here too, huh? And again, having Cardil and Lonnie together with the ally attacks seems to help. Oh, I can check. I feel like I'm on limited frames. I think the game has just been glitchy. A new. I love when the Reaper pops up. That is so cool. All right, so we have Lonnie at almost the mill, Genson at 1.1, and Newt's at 5. Let's go take a look quickly. Yeah, I'm on Unlimited. But I noticed we we're pulling some shards today, and it feels like overall that the game is just kind of slower. It just, it seems, maybe there's just too much going on. I don't know. There's just, there's just a lot going on in here, right? At least it seems that way. Yeah, 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 I know. And Twitch Shell loves watching campaign farmers. Get him, Genzin. Look at that, two seconds. Yeah, it's running the same speed as your phone. I'm not, you know, I'm not really sure what's going on with Raid today. Other than it's being super slow. Look at that. 10, 10 seconds. Love it. Hey, Degree, thank you so much for the showcase. Guys, if you have Genzin, where are you using him? You know, does that kind of inspire you to uh, try to use them in some dungeons as well, too? And guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it.